So what really makes the difference between a user getting lost in your navigation and clearly intuitively knowing where to go? It's really about adhering to previous design patterns. You want to stick to Android's guidelines until you specifically want to break out of them for a good reason. And we're going to start that process by learning how to use a very common navigation element today, the action bar. So the action bar you've seen before, it's, it's this guy right up here. He usually has the name of the application, uh, an icon that might represent the actual icon for the app. Sometimes this icon can even be back navigation. And over here to the right, you'll often see other particular things like settings or maybe some particular UI elements that we commonly want the user to use. Oftentimes, you'll even see a search bar up here for when a user wants to go through the content and search for something. A user intuitively knows to go here first from common actions in Android. So how do you add elements to that? I'll show you. First of all, let's deal with something called icons. Android happens to have a huge support system from Google um, to download just action bar icon packs. By actually downloading this particular pack, you'll get tons of icons that already adhere and look good with the design guidelines for Android. I've already downloaded the particular zip file here and I'm going to go ahead and install those icons, or at least one of them, to show you how to add an item. So, here we have the actual folder. I'm going to go into Action Bar Icons. I'm going to choose from the Hollow Dark theme. And I'm going to choose uh, Rating Good. As you can see, we have these drawable folders that are very similar to the drawable folders in our own res directory. Well, I'm just actually going to take those, move them over, and holding down Option, let go, and it's going to ask me if I want to merge those two. If I say apply to all and merge, what will happen is the one icon at various different sizes that was in here, kind of hard to see on the uh, white on white, uh, each of these is going to now be in my folders as I see action good. Again, adhering to the same alphanumerics that we have for all particular drawables. And if I go back to Android Studio, sure enough, you can see those things start to pop up, and now I can use them. Well, how do I actually use them? In the layout res directory, in addition to the drawable folders and the layout folder, there's also a menu folder. Inside of that menu folder, in that navigation.xml, is where you want to put menu items to put at the top of the action bar. Normally when you first start, you'll see something kind of like this, with just the settings piece up there. But if you want, you can add your own items and actually specifying the show as action will force it to actually be an icon up there. Right now it doesn't seem to be rendering right. Let me just let me do that and add my quote to it. Oh, that's an Android Studio bug. But normally Android Studio will actually show you the icon up here. I happen to have removed them and added them in a way that confused it, so I'm not going to see it right now in the screencast. But you can also select some other options for your show as action. You can choose to always show the icon. You can choose to never show the icon. Um, I like to always select if room. It makes it pretty flexible to put it there if there's room for it. Otherwise, put it in the menu item for smaller uh, screens that you want. And again, you have a title, and you actually describe the icon. And that's pretty much all you need to do as long as in your activity or wherever you're managing this piece from, you actually inflate it like you do here with on create options menu. Now this has been constantly put in there before uh, whenever we've been making applications, but now you actually can understand what it does. So let's actually take a look at what that particular method does. On create options menu actually just passes in the particular menu to be added to. And then we inflate that particular folder. Again, the, it's the menu folder. We're choosing that navigation XML. And that's what's going to inflate all those different items to put them on the action bar. The next thing that we want to pay attention to is on options item selected. This is the method that will get called when, believe it or not, a menu item gets selected. So by getting the actual get item ID, which will match with the actual ID of any of the particular items of the menu, you can just use a switch statement and then match it against those particular 
names that you've specified in the uh, piece here before, such as here we have you know, action settings, and then for the other one we have action write up, and again that corresponds to the same thing in our activity. And we can just then, for each of these particular IDs, specify what code we want to run, and of course we need to return true. You want to make sure to always do a return of the super uh, version of the method. That way, uh, if you're not particularly doing anything else, you get to at least have the default run what is going to happen up above. Uh, so it's that simple, uh, and if we go ahead and run our particular application now, we should see that in the uh, upper right, we have the icon that we chose, and we should actually get a toast message to pop up when we select it. Move over here. Here again, you can now actually see the icon. Sure enough, it runs that code, as well as the other one, which isn't an icon. I can still select settings, and it will run that code.